She's from Montana, but she hates the outdoors. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I, I hate the outdoors. I just prefer luxuries. <laughs> They're traveling around 900 miles from Dallas to northeastern Tennessee to look at three unplugged properties. I think it's going to be a struggle for me. I don't think we came into this with any false expectations of ourselves, thinking that we are going to be great mountaineers, because we certainly were not. <laughs> uh, we let the quail loose on a couple of occasions. Nice. <laughs> Stop running. Oh, oh, catch it! Catch it! Oh. And your instinct was not to catch it, it was to laugh at dad. I think like everything else, the boys are gonna get used to the fact that they're livestock, that they'll feed them and they'll take care of them so that we can survive out here. The most difficult thing for me by far was the quail. Don't hesitate, just get it done. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know, one big part of being unplugged is providing your own food source. And at certain times of the year, you're not gonna be able to grow corn year round or get all your food from the ground. Mm -hmm. So Jay taught us that you're gonna have to keep some livestock and at some point you might have to kill and eat them. Dude, quail is amazing. Although it was a good experience and I think something that was necessary to really understand what Life Unplugged is about, it was, it was a struggle for me. I think it tastes all right, but I think I'm having a mental block just because I saw these birds alive hours ago. I think it is all about attitude and, and willingness. I think you can really, really do anything that you put your mind to, and I think that's an important lesson that we want to teach our boys, and I think they got to see some of that this week. If you plant, you're just gonna lay it down on the ground, and your brothers are gonna come behind you and plant behind you, okay? Oh, yeah. Everybody has something different that they bring to the table, and we really got to see that with everybody through this experience. I mean, we're as city and urban as it gets, so I think if we can do it, a lot of people out there who don't think they can do it, I believe you can do it.